This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Wednesday, August 2nd. Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings has reported a profitable Q2 earnings with a net profit of $86.1 million, making it the first profitable quarter since late 2019. Now, this is compared to over a $150 million loss earlier this year. Some key highlights from Q2 include passenger occupancy reaching 105%, revenue per passenger day increasing by 15%, and a 33% revenue surge in Q2 compared to the same quarter in 2019. Cruise bookings are also surpassing pre-pandemic levels with higher pricing. And looking ahead, Norwegian Viva will enter service in Italy later this month, followed by Regent's new ship Seven Seas Grandeur that's set to sail in November. Good work, NCL. And MSC Cruises has gained government approval to expand and upgrade its private island Ocean Key MSC Marine Reserve over in the Bahamas. Now, according to the Central Bank in the Bahamas, the project is valued at $100 million and uh, will include storm management systems, additional entertainment areas, more staff accommodations, a private yacht club, a solar farm, and other amenities. The island will be temporarily closed from April 7th of next year to May 22nd. That will impact more than 35 cruises calling to the island. Ocean K opened to cruise passengers in late 2019 after four years of construction. And finally, what does Carnival's brand ambassador John Heald and Taylor Swift have in common? Well, neither can put on a show without a ticket issue. Registration for John's For Fun Sakes group cruise faced a brief setback as technical issues delayed eager fans waiting to register to sail with John. Now, once the glitch was resolved and the registration opened, it only took five minutes for it to sell out, leaving hundreds of fans disappointed. Now, guests on board sailing with John will enjoy exclusive activities, private parties, meet and greets, and special gifts throughout the voyage. If you didn't make it on the sailing, not all hope is lost. You can get waitlisted. Just email cruisewithjohn at carnival.com. Just hope they have that glitch figured out. And cruise line stocks were down on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation down 4.5%, 17.99. Royal Caribbean down 1.5%, 107.44. And Norwegian down 12%, 19.41. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Wednesday. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.